A link in bio website can connect your social audience to everything you publish and offer online all in one place. In this tutorial, I show you how to create a free link in bio one page website using bio sites from Squarespace. We start by installing the mobile app, adding profile details, integrating links, customizing the design, and even adding a tip section for donations. Make sure you stick around until the end for several BioSites FAQs. Let's get started. To kick things off, head over to your mobile phone's native app store and search for the free Unfold app owned by Squarespace. The Unfold app also provides the ability to create eye-catching social media content. When arriving at the dashboard, you'll see all the wonderful new templates you can start with for your social media. Steer on to the bottom right to access the BioSites website builder. Once you've gone through the introduction slides, press the big create a free bio site button to begin. So there are four template designs to choose from. The first features a classic design with a small avatar followed by social media accounts, then custom links. The second, a strip of repeating profile images. The third, a bigger profile image with a gorgeous load animation. And the fourth, a square profile image in a sort of brutalist design. I'm quite into the third design, so I'm going to start there, but remember you can switch profile designs really easily at any time. You're now presented with an empty canvas of the template design with the main navigation at the bottom. Let me run you through it quick. Profile is where you begin adding your name, tagline, images, social accounts, and links. Section is for the page sections like biographies and even embeds like videos. Style is for colors and customization and preview presents it all like people would see it after clicking the link in bio website. Okay, it's time to get stuck in. Tap the profile icon or website content area to load up the options for populating your profile. I'll start with my profile photo that accesses images within my mobile camera roll. There are useful options for rotating, cropping, or zooming, but I'm pretty happy with the image as it is. Next up is a cover image that sits in the bio site's background. As you can see by this video, I'm into these gradient vibes, so adding a dark design gradient should make the foreground avatar shine. Now it's time to add name and a short description or tagline. I've sort of been milking this maker, surfer, optimist for years, but if I'm honest, surfing has taken a big backseat to bird watching. To add social media icons, you simply click the icon placeholders. Twitter is my favorite network by far, so I'll start there by simply entering in my username. Let me quickly add Instagram and YouTube so we can get on with the rest of the tutorial. There are over a dozen social media network options, and even a sweet option to add an envelope linking to an email address. Now it's time for adding our clear custom links by tapping the link rows below the social media icons. Since the One Page Love website is my first true love I started back in 2008, it's naturally going first. We start by entering in a link name, then we add a link URL. Link images are optional, but I'd highly recommend adding one to help differentiate your links. This is especially useful when skimming a profile with a lot of promotion. Here I add the One Page Love logo. The second link I want to add is to my personal blog, and often a place I need to link to when I mention new blog posts are up on my social media. Lastly is my landing page Hot Tips ebook, where I'll integrate an image of the book cover. And just like my blog, I mention my ebook a lot through social media, so it's great to have it clearly visible in my bio site's profile. Custom links can be used for pretty much any use case and could link to online stores, services you offer, customer surveys, and even external inquiry forms. We're making great progress. So to get a better feel of the bio site, you can preview the design using the bottom right menu icon. Yeah, this is looking good, but one thing I really feel that's missing is a short biography. So it's time to steer over to the new sections. As you can see, we've got social and links already integrated. Popular section additions include text boxes, tip donations, and NFT galleries. But there are tons more embeddable media types to integrate like Spotify, YouTube, and Twitch. For a biography, we need to insert a text box. I'll title it simply biography, and I'll paste in my usual blurb in the body text about my passion for one-page websites. Okay, good stuff. Let's head back to preview the bio site. Yeah, it's looking solid, but I wanna customize the colors a bit and even try a dark color scheme for my profile. Head on over to the third style navigation item. Your first option is templates where we can easily switch between the designs using the same content. Let's actually take a quick look. Hmm, not bad, not bad, not bad at all. 
but I prefer the design we originally chose. Now swing on over to the background options where we can edit colors. It's worth noting at this point, if you had an Unfold Pro account, you can easily access your brand colors already integrated in your account. Upgrading to Pro also removes the Unfold footer logo, but more details on that later. So I wanna see how the dark background works against the links and biography section. So let me just get out of here quick, scroll a touch, then dive back in. You can see drag in the color point to reflects in real time. Yeah, I'm feeling these dark purple vibes a little more, a little more, yeah. That's the one. Okay, let's take a look by hitting preview. Oof, that's exactly how I want that tailored color scheme feel to look. We're now ready to add our buyer side to our social media accounts. Finalize things by hitting the publish button top right. At this point, you'll need to sign up for a free Squarespace account to continue. I wanna emphasize that you do not need a Squarespace website, nor you need to pay anything at this point. Okay, it's time to choose a custom username. The search is real time, and if available, a green dot appears on the left. Hit the check to commit. Brilliant. Once saved, you have options to share, add to bio, preview, and to add to Instagram stories. We're going to add my bio site's URL to my Instagram bio. Clicking the link conveniently copies the link to our clipboard and routes us to Instagram, where I can now paste in my new bio site's link. Let's take it for one more spin from our audience's point of view. Fantastic. For this next step, I wanna show you how easy it is to edit your live profile while also showing you the tips functionality. Steer on back to the Unfold app and to the sections area. Scroll and select tips. I'll title the tips block with a question for my audience, followed by a suggestion to buy me a coffee. Now it's time to integrate a payment gateway using Stripe. If you only have PayPal, that's okay. Your fan is simply sent over to your PayPal profile to complete the payment. There are a couple of steps, but I won't get into it here. But remember, you only need to set this up once and then it's there forever. Once syncing, we have a success message. In that area, you can set the currency and the button call to action text. I wanna spice it up a bit with some cheeky send coffee copy. Let's head back to the main view and preview it to see it in action. Super duper clear. Now finally, we need to hit the update button top right to save the changes. Okay, let's end things off with tackling a few Biosites FAQs. How can I remove the Unfold logo in the footer? Simply upgrade to Unfold Pro using the top right button. This will also unlock access to Unfold brand kits for quicker customization, unlimited profile sections, and also allow you to create up to 10 Biosites on a single account. How can I add more Biosites? When viewing your Biosites app area, steer back using the top left icon. Now you can add new Biosites to the right. Please note you can only have two Biosites on a free account. Are there any statistics? Absolutely. When on your Biosites dashboard, scroll on over to the Activity tab to see Visits and your click-through rate. And last question is, how do Biosites fare when our fans click from desktop social media accounts? Pretty darn good if you ask me. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of setting up a slick Biosites profile to link from your social media bios. Let me know how you go by dropping your Biosites link in the comments below. I'm super keen to see what you're all up to and building online.